First Peter chapter four. I want to remind you to be here this evening for the service. 5.30 will be prayer time. And then at 6 o'clock, the evening message. So I hope you'll be here in your place and uh, the Word of God be blessed. All right? 1 Peter chapter 4. We're going to begin in verse number 1. And the Bible says, For as much then as Christ hath suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourself. Likewise with the same mind, for he that hath suffered in the flesh hath ceased from sin. Just want you to look at these two words, arm yourselves. Get yourself prepared, becoming armed. And I want to talk with you today. We're going to look at several verses here that it just seems like the Lord just giving out here and saying, this is what you need to do if you, want to, if you want your life to be strong, if you want to be guarded, if you want to be protected. These are the ways that we do it. If you're here today, I, I, I don't think there'd be anybody here, hopefully. But I hope everyone says, I'd like to be a great Christian for God. And you know what? If you do that, the devil wants to do his best to destroy that. Amen. Now, if you are uncaring, then probably very much going on in your life. But if you ever determine, God, I want to serve the Lord. I want to see something special. God, I want my Christian life to be real and powerful. He says, then you need to arm yourself. And as I said, just give several verses here, I'd like you, if I may, and give you these things. Uh, first of all, he says, we want you to determine to do the will of God. Look at verse number two, if you would, please. Let's read verse two. That he no longer should live in the rest of his time in the flesh to the lust of men, but to the will of God. I wonder if you've ever just come to that place in your life where you're saying, it's time for me to do the will of God. Amen. You ever been there where you just, you mess around, you mess around, you mess around, and you wonder, and, and you know, you kind of, mess around, play with it and everything, but somewhere you just come to the place and maybe, maybe somewhere God speaks to your heart, something goes into your life and, and it brings to right to your face and you say, it's time for me to do the will of God. Amen. I remember years ago when we were in uh, Charlotte and I was serving the Lord uh, pretty well and halfway and, and everything and struggling and uh, I remember talking to a preacher and he said, this seems like, Pastor, it just seems like we're not getting anywhere. I'm just not excited, but I, I'm just having it. And he said, Preacher, you're going to have to understand that you're going to find a place where you're going to do the will of God. Yeah. All of a sudden, God just kind of broke my heart and said, are you going to mean business or are you just going to mess around and play? Are you just coming to church on Sunday morning and, and uh, uh, do very little and uh, everybody smile on me and shake man? Or am I going to get serious about God and accomplish something to the will of God? That's good. I would today that you would determine more uh, our, our congregation. What, what a blessing. You talk about revival. If we just determined across this congregation and people just say, Preacher, I'm tired of playing church. Amen. I'm tired of playing with it. I want to do the will of God. Amen. And you just get serious with God and decide, Lord, I want to follow the Lord and, and serve Him and, and do Him. Uh, we're, going to, we're, we're going to get involved about missionaries. Amen. I wonder how many of us would say, you know, I hear about missions. I talk about missions. We talk about it. But it's time to do the will of God. Amen. You know, sometimes we feel like missionaries, sometimes we're going to tip them. Amen? That's, that's kind of what it is. No, you know what? We don't need to be tipping these people. Amen? We need to get serious with these missionaries and say, God, I want to get started serving you, and uh, my, my giving is going to make different. It's going to make a And when, God, I'm going to do this something. I'm going to, it's time for me to get the wheel. Amen? 
Be serious about this. And you say, Preacher, I, it's not going to change me. I'm, some people may be right here say, it's not going to make any difference to me, Preacher. But there may be somebody else and say, Preacher, and you look at your wife, amen, and your wife looks at you and says, it's time we got serious about this. Amen. And broke down my will and said, God, I want to do what's best for me to do. I wish you'd do that today. Amen. I, I wish your offering would be filled out there and you'd say, I'm going to do something for missionaries. Amen. I'm going to do something about uh, witnessing. Amen. I'm going to talk to someone about the Lord. I need to hear it. Amen. It's serious about it. Uh, Brother Tommy, the last couple of few weeks have talked about the seriousness of, of telling someone about a, a, a track or witnessing and, and thank God. And I, I praise God that the gentleman's over here tonight that's here, this morning I should say, that's here. You know why he's here? Because someone said, it's time for me to get serious. Amen. 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 And uh, after the message, uh, Brother Sharon came up and he said, I have never led anybody to the Lord myself. I've never done that. All my life, all these years have been saved. I've never done She said, I'm going to do it today. Amen. Amen. She called and she said, I need to talk to you. And she said, I know, I've been wanting to talk to me. And that day she got saved. Amen. I'm just talking about, folks, I'm just talking about when he talks about the, to, to, to do the will of God. It's time. Amen. You say, preacher, it's time. I'm too old. It's already passed. No, no, no. Are you listening? If you determine today, God, by God's grace and God's help, I want to do the will of God. Amen. And somebody may be standing here uh, and leave today. And you'll be able to say for the first time in a long time, I have just determined I'm going to do the will of God. Amen. That's in verse number two. Let's look at verse three. There's another thought here. Arming. He says in verse number three, for the time past of our life, are you listening now? Maybe you just heard my message from you a while ago. What did he say? For the first, for the time past of our life may suffice us to have wrought the will of, of the Gentiles. When we walked in lasciviousness and lust and excess of wine, reveling, banquetings and abominable idolatries. You know what he's saying? I've messed around long enough. It's time to get away from this. Amen. It's time. I just put to deny the flesh. I wonder if for somebody would hear and you'd just say uh, in your heart, in the Holy Ghost of God, would speak to your heart and say, you know what? We're going to deny. There's some mess we're going to change. Amen. You say, preacher, I can't think of anything. Uh, tell your mother-in-law. She'll give you a list. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> to deny. I wonder if we just saw the revival way of people that said, been having this problem. So, Richard, I don't know what else it could be. Well, if you can drop something, Hershey bars, amen, drop something. Now, go ahead and eat Hershey bars. That's okay. That's all right. <laughs> but sometimes the Lord says, there's things going on in your life. And you know what he says there? He says, for the time past of our lives, that's been enough. Amen. amen. It's time. It's time. I wonder if there's something in our life that the Lord would just uh, be speaking to your heart. And you say, it's, it's a care thing. It's not that important. It's not such a big deal. And yet the Lord says, it's bothering you. Amen. If it's bothering you, it's a big thing. Amen. And I wonder if people would just say, you know, by God's grace and God's help, I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm going to live different. I'm going to change that. And so he just denies it. He starts out now, I want to do the will of God. Then God says, all right, I want you to start, I want you to start today. I hear some things. Maybe you need to get started today. I just wonder if some of us are willing to say, God, help me to deny that. And I, and I want my life to be different. God, I want it to be different. Amen. You know, sometimes we just get so well in our behavior and we get so well in it that we just don't care anymore. Amen. 
Do you ever get comfortable with things and God just says, you know what? Are you listening? God may one of these days shake you up. Amen. Amen. One of these days, God may shake you up and, and find out you got a situation and God has to say, hey, I, I, I don't want, you know, and you listen, but why? God's trying to tell you. It's time to deny those things. It's time to make a difference in my life. Amen. Some of you may look at yourself and just say, preacher, uh, I'm comfortable. And maybe that's the problem. You're comfortable. Instead of letting God say, why don't you get right? Amen. Deny that. All right? Please look at your next verse if you would. Verse number four. Wherein they think it strange. I like this. Are you listening? Wherein they think it strange that you run not with them to the same excess of riot, speaking evil of you. He says there's some things in the world that we must be willing to say, God says you don't need that anymore. Amen. I, I just love that when they think it's strange that you run. Amen. That's an old phrase. Amen. Did your, did your mother ever look at you and say, son, you're running with the wrong crowd? Amen. You say, preacher, I didn't. I heard it. Others heard it. And he says, you need to understand when you, when you determine I want to do the will of God. I want to get serious again. I'm tired of enough. I'm tired of playing with it and I'm tired and I want to do something serious and he says and, and I'm going to I'm going to drop my life I'm going to change my behavior I'm going to live clean I'm going to do what's right I'm make a difference in that flesh I'm going to drop it whatever. and then he says hey listen your crowd's going to come and say you're strange amen you know what some of us would be happy are you listening some of us just need to understand and say, God, I want to live right. And if that means I can't work with those people any longer, I go to somebody else at the, the, uh, the, the, the meal. We go to the, the closing place, wherever it is, wherever you're at. And God says, you don't need to be a part of that any longer. Amen. Has anybody ever said to you, where did you change it? And he says, yeah, I want to live different. Amen. Why? I want to do the will of God. Amen. There's things in my life I want to see changed, and, and I'm tired of it. And uh, uh, when, when the place you work and the, where you go to school, the people around you and everything, are, are you willing to say, hey, listen, God, I want, I want a clean life. Amen. I want it to be better off. And were you willing to say, God, help me to do that? Help me live right. Amen. Are you listening? Why? What did he say? Because I want to do the will of God. Amen. I, I want to change my flesh, my behaviors. might be a language you have to look up. Amen. It might be some situation going on in, in, a, in a, uh, something that's in your life and you're saying, God, I don't need that any longer. He says, it's going to change it. And then he says, if you'll do that, you're going to have to tell the world. Amen. You're going to have to say to them, I'm not going to do that anymore. Amen. You know what? Now, you preacher, are you sure? But listen to me. Guess what I say? If you work in public work, you've got room you can improve on. Amen. You say, preacher, that crowd where we work in our factory, there's no problem. Everything's written. Yeah, come on. Amen. If you went there and changed that and started living right, doing right, and they look at you and said, uh, uh, what are you doing? It's time. What did he say? It's time to do the will of God. You know what somebody's going to say? Are you serious about that? Amen. Are you serious? Yeah. And you know what will happen? Someone will do one of two things. One of them will come and say, <laughs> how many times you done this? Or somebody might say, you know what, buddy? How about if me and you just went together? Amen. 
what, what, if, what if instead of listening to the, uh, the jokes and all that stuff, maybe at break time we could open, hey, I got a book, brand new devotional book. That's the best thing you've ever seen in your life. I mentioned a couple of you about this. And if you, one page there, if you used to read that at break time, just together, you know what? There may be some other Christian come along and say, what are you doing? we got a new book here about devotions on the things of God. And every day there's just a page there, uh, 30 seconds of it, you can read it. And what a blessing. You know what I'm saying? Don't live like that anymore. Amen. And you know what? If nobody else goes with you, that's all right. It's time for you to do right. Amen. Amen. Just try to do it, all right? So I hope you just determine. Start that out with, I want to, I want to uh, uh, determine the will of God. I want to deny the flesh. And then I want to desert the world. I want to get away from that. I need a different place, another opportunity. Start that today. Would you do that? Now, can I tell you, you may be here, you may be very careless about it and say, yeah, 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 you know, I will live. You won't last. Amen. You know what you need to do? You need to get serious in your heart and the Spirit of God speaking to your heart and the, and, and the, the Word of God dealing with you. And it might be good. Now, listen to me. It might be a good day that you need to come to an altar and say, I'm going to have a different life. It's going to change me. Amen. Just come there and just say, God, I need some business. And God, today, it's going to start today. It's going to be different. I'm going to, I'm going to promise you, and I'm going to do what's right. Are you listening? Because, God, I'm serious. Are you listening? He's soon coming back. Amen. And you need to say, God, I want a clean life. Are you listening? You need to have that spirit and say, hey, I don't want to embarrass Bethel Baptist Church. Amen. You need to be very thoughtful about that and say, uh, if, if I'm going to be a Christian and I'm going to be in Bethel Baptist Church, I want to do right. Amen. Might be a good time to say it's time for me to settle it down and do it. Amen. I told you a story about several years ago. I uh, was going to have breakfast uh, in, in uh, Blueberry. Anybody ever goes to Blueberry Hill eat breakfast? Hallelujah, it's good. You ought to go there. Amen. In the morning if you can. I was going to go there and I didn't have a paper. And I thought, well, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm going to start pick up a paper. There'll be a cabinet, there. I mean a uh, newspaper rack, rack there. And so as I was driving down, over oh, there's a newspaper rack. And I pulled right in there. I said, let me go get me a paper real quick. And, I got it. and just as soon as I got in there, I stood there. It was the liquor store right here beside me. <laughs> and I thought, <clears throat> Amen. I didn't want that to anybody see that. Amen. What are you saying? So their life be different. Don't want to be seen that. Amen. We need to desert the world. And then, verse number seven. You need to get a hold of this thought. Listen to me. Verse number seven. But the end, are you listening? The end of all things are at hand. Is it time to get serious? If you're ever going to do it, you better do it now. Amen. His hand is gone. And he says, Be ye therefore sober and watch unto prayer. You know what we need to do in our hearts? Lord, it's not going to be very long. Pretty soon the Lord's coming. Amen. I wonder if we're just willing to say in our hearts, God, I want to be prepared I want to be ready. I want for the Lord to come back. And I want to be clean when he comes. Amen. I wonder how many of us feel like we're going to have to 
wash up things before the Lord comes. We need to get it done today. Amen. If the Lord comes back, let's do it so that when we come back with, with the righteousness. Amen. Be there as we ought to be. Uh, the end of all things is at hand. You say, Preacher, I've heard that, but you've never missed it. Amen. I wonder today if we would just come and say, Lord, I want, I want to do my will. God, so I'll do right. I want to arm myself. And God, I want to do what's right, Lord, so that when it's time for me to understand the Lord's coming back, that we can say, Lord, come on, Lord. Amen. Instead of, oh, Lord, not this week. Yeah, this week. Amen. I wonder if we're just that serious about it. God, what if it's this week? It may be today. Amen. Amen. Whatever takes on, today could be the day. And you say, well, preacher, what if it doesn't come? What if it's you gone? What if you're that person? Are you listening? There's a uh, place somewhere close by in a greenhouse. And the flowers are being grazed, raised right there. They're getting ready. And pretty soon somebody, very few of those flowers will be thrown away. Most of it will be on somebody's funeral. Amen. And you know what we need to say, God? I want to be clean when he comes back. If he takes me in heaven in, 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 in the rapture, amen, or if he takes me Amen. If he takes me in my life, God, I want it to be clean. Are you listening? Whatever the devil would try to get you involved in your life, if you would be willing to let that go, and, and maybe some kind of language or some kind of uh, problem thing that goes on, and you're saying, God, I don't want that in my life. So preacher, is it, it, are you listening? listening? Is it that serious? That's what I'm telling you. It's that serious because he's Sunni at the end of all things. Look in verse number 8, if you would, with me. We've talked about to deny, to deny the will of God, deny the flesh, desert the world, discern the time, and lastly, that you be devoted to the body. Look at this. And above all things, have fervency, charity among yourselves. For charity shall cover the multitude of sins. You know what I'm saying? Armor yourself. Get involved in church. Amen. We've got folks today that's joining the church. I thank so God for that. Amen. Are you listening? Amen. This couple right here. I'm proud of it. Amen. Appreciate that. They're joining the church. Been here 30 years, but now they're finally right. coming up. Here. <laughs> Amen. Going to be here. You know what? They now are entering in to the part of the body of Bethel Baptist Church. So, preacher, I struggle, and it's hard, and it's difficult, and you know what? When you join around the body, you get stronger and you get stronger and you get stronger. Why do I fault? It, it, it seems like I guess I have to, to get beat on this all the time and Satan all the time. You know what will help you? Get involved in the church. Mm -hmm. Amen. And say, I'll be here. I'm going to be involved. I'm going to be part of it. Amen. I remember several years ago, I'm just going to give you this story and I'm going to close. But uh, Brother Dan... Tony, we were driving down the Interstate 70 there, and we just had a, a bad storm, ice. And boy, it was breaking up trees and tearing up everything. And we were driving down, and he said, uh, look over here. He said, see all those trees that's broke down? Just, uh, that, that, you know, it was a uh, lot there in the woods, and all that breaking all down and broken. And you could see those 
uh, limbs and trees and branches and everything torn up. And I said, Brother Dan, could you look at this? Notice something with me. The trees around the edge of the woods were broken and stripped and damaged. Such a mess. I said, but look inside of the trees. It's not there. It's on the trees right around it. Why? Because when you get in the middle, it protects each other. Amen. You know what we do? We lean on each other. Amen. It's what we need. We need a family just like that. Are you listening to me? We get involved and we live a clean life and uh, we uh, do what we ought to do and live like we ought to do and, and God blesses and, and God says we just kind of hover around each other. Amen. Do you know who gets the worst damage? It's people on the outside. Amen. Do you know what can happen to you? When you say, I'm going to be there Sunday morning. I'm going to be there Sunday night. I'm going to be there Wednesday night. And if someone gets tore up in the storm, they're going to have it, not me. Amen. And we just come around each other. And, and what a blessing that is. I thank God for it. I love it when people come in and they shook hands with each other. Amen. And, and there's people there that love you and shake hands and smile. You know what we're doing? We're, we're building ourselves. What did he say? Above all things, have fervent charity among yourselves. But preacher, there's some people in there that I don't like. We'll go around the other side of the church and find somebody else that'll like you. Amen. <laughs> you know what? It's probably somebody that you're thinking about, somebody saying, that's the guy right there I don't like right there. You know what we need to say? So what? It doesn't matter. Amen. Amen. Some of you drive Chevrolets. Amen. Some of you drive That is a bad thing, Chevrolet, isn't it? Amen. Okay. So, preacher, but that's my good part. You know what? What difference does it make? You know what? Some of us get so serious, so little old things like that, that are so important to us. Why don't we say, that don't matter? It don't matter about this. It doesn't matter. I want to do right. Amen. And you know what we need to say? We need to say, we need brothers taking care of me. I need those folks, and I love them, and I appreciate them. Amen? Now, I want to ask you, I want to ask you, are you willing to arm yourself? If you don't guard yourself in the ways that we need to do right, you know what we are? We're exposed. Amen. And the devil comes, and he hits that, and he hits that, and he hits that. And what we need, we need the best we can do, amen, the way we live.